Hello everyone. Welcome to Medical MCQs and Lecture. Today we are going to talk about jaundice in pregnancy. Some jaundice they are peculiar to pregnancy, while others are coincidental to pregnancy. Viral hepatitis caused by hepatitis A, B, C, and E viruses cause jaundice that are coincidental. However, there are some which are peculiar to pregnancy. They are obstetric jaundice, acute fatty liver disease, hyperemesis gravidarum, and HELP syndrome. HELP syndrome consists of hemolysis, elevated liver, transaminase and low platelet that is thrombocytopenia as for hemolysis EL for elevated liver transaminase and LP for low platelet count that is thrombocytopenia so in this video we will be mainly talking on obstetric jaundice also known as recurrent jaundice of pregnancy or intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy to understand that we need to understand first how bile is formed and transported to biliary canaliculi so unconjugated bilirubin which are taken up from blood vessel into hepatocytes are converted to conjugated bilirubin which are exported to biliary canaliculi with multi-drug resistance type 3 protein and bile salt is exported to biliary canaliculi by a BSEP bile salt export protein So, after knowing this, we can define obstetric jaundice as it is a jaundice leading to accumulation of bile salt and bilirubin in plasma. So, why does that happen? It happens because this BSEP and MDR3 is inhibited. Why is this inhibited? The reason is not fully understood, but it has been proposed that it is mostly due to estrogen, which is high in late pregnancy. And it this jaundice typically results within 48 hours of delivery. So, talking about pathogenesis of this disease, once this BSEP and MDR3 are inhibited, there will be accumulation of this substance that is bile salt and uh, conjugated bilirubin in the hepatocytes that will accumulate in the plasma. So, talking about clinical features of this disease, maternal disease. Most common symptom is pruritus, which can be defined as an unpleasant sensation that evokes the desire to scratch. It is seen as excoriation of skin in the mother. And mm, clinical jaundice is rare. Clinical jaundice is rare in obstetric jaundice. It may be present in some cases. Constitutional symptoms may also be present like anorexia, malaise and abdominal pain. There will be dark urine because of high conjugated bilirubin in circulation. Okay, that is filtered by kidney changes to urobilin and pale stool due to deficiency of stercobilin in urine stool. Stercobilin. There will be a steatorrhea because there will be man absorption of vitamin K. Oh no, there will be a statoria because bile, there will be deficiency of bile which will lead 
to a state area because bile is responsible for emulsification and absorption of fat. If bile is not exported, both bile acids and bilirubin are not exported, then it is sure that state area will occur. Now, state area is associated with increased risk of postpartum hemorrhage that is bleeding because there will be malabsorption of vitamin K also. So, why there will be malabsorption of vitamin K? It is again due to deficiency of bile because bile is important for absorption of fat and fat soluble vitamins and vitamin K is fat soluble vitamin. Talking about fetal presentation, osteoarthritis on this is associated with adverse fetal outcomes. There will be spontaneous preterm level, spicial events leading to sudden uterine death, and there are also chances of meconium staining of the amniotic fluid that signifies fetal distress so this was all about obstetric jaundice its cause pathogenesis and uh, clinical picture in the upcoming videos we will be talking more about other causes of jaundice in pregnancy